Beautiful day here on Pitzal Glacier. We're just before the season 11, 12. Simon Dumont, you're coming from where? Uh, coming from the States, and I'm also um, coming over to join the head team. Is that the plan for this trip, joining the head team? Uh, it is. You know, it's been a tough decision. I've uh, been with a certain ski sponsor for a certain amount of years, and it just uh, felt like the right time to change. And, you know, I thought about it a while, thought about it all summer, actually. And, um, you know, I just know Head has the right materials. They've been podiuming nonstop with racers, so they have the materials. And my biggest thing right now is going to the Olympics and making sure I have the best equipment, and I think uh, Head can give me that. So uh, what makes Head equipment different from other equipment? Um, I just think they, they have the materials and they have such an understanding for everything about skiing. I mean, I checked out the, the factory yesterday and um, one, I didn't have any idea how much actually went into skis. And then two, I had no understanding how good these engineers are. Like the littlest thing, like, oh, the ski's vibrating too much. Let's put something here. Let's put a softener there. They're just, uh, I don't know, they're on top of the game. And I mean, I'm looking for the best and that's... That's hopefully what I'm going to get, and I feel pretty confident with my decision. That was actually the first ski production place I've ever been to, so it was, uh, it was an eye-opener for me to see how much work goes into it, and uh, maybe I'll start taking care of my skis a little better. <laughs> what did impress you the most uh, looking at the plant? Uh, just how much went into it. Like Each pair of skis, uh, they said, took 47 minutes to build, and I mean, that's start to finish, and there's so many people like hand-making stuff. And uh, the other thing was, was the boot factory that really impressed me. You know, I was kind of nervous. I went from a two buckle boot to a four buckle boot and um, I didn't think it was gonna, you know, really fit me because I've been in a certain boot all year, but uh, the boot guys were just insane. Anything I wanted, grind out a piece here, do this, everything. It was, it was amazing what they could do. All right, uh, we were before season 11, 12. Uh, what's the game plan for you this winter? You know, it's a couple years from the Olympics, so I feel like this year I'm going to probably focus on getting a really good segment. So I'm going to film because I don't think I'm going to be doing that as the Olympics approach. I'm also going to be competing and uh, just hope to have a good overall season and stay healthy. What's after your career? Any thoughts? Uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, my big thing is the Olympics. I mean, I'd love to go win an Olympic medal and then, uh, you know, choose my contest wisely, do a couple more contests, really focus on filming, and then um, I'd love to drive one day. It'd be nice to be a professional driver. Um, and then I have my own company, Empire. It's, uh, you know, it's the same type of thing. You know, it's very competitive to be a businessman, so uh, I'm learning a lot, and I, I'd really like to take on that role and help it grow. Simon Dumont at Pitzal. Uh, I want to thank Head for bringing me onto the team. It's nice to join such a, um, a company with elite athletes. And uh, let's hope for a good year. And now I'm going to go uh, shred a little bit.